Hi guys, I'm gonna try and show you a little bit about the 11 rig, which is really good rig. It just needs a little documentation, so I hope I can provide for that. All I've done so far is I've downloaded the actual rig from the website. I made a new folder, a new project, with the project window, and I've just included all the, the basic scenes. And what I've done is I've unpacked the actual rig file and then just copy paste it into my already existing project. So all I'm going to do is open the actual scene file which is, which is included. And this is how it looks. So five to get it into the shaded mode. Now most of the controls are kind of hidden away but it kind of self-explanatory if you know a little bit about it. But the, the actual body control, the global control of the the rig, see, moves everything. It also contains some of the actual controls. So if you wanna, let's see here. As you can see now, it doesn't move the hands itself. But if I wanna move the hands, all I do is go into the global control, find the controller for the arm and you can see I have the different options so where I can where I want to lock the actual control. So let's say I want to I want to move it to the chest. So I'm going to take the right arm and the left arm and move it to the chest. So now if I move the chest control the arm moves with it. And if I want to do the same thing with the head for the chest it moves around with it too. So this is where I mean I could go through all the controls but you can just this is just to show you where that you can find the controls. This is also where you control the gender. So right now you can see this is a male so I can change it into a female and you can then customize the body as you see fit. Also if you wanna if you want to change the face it's actually found in the head control. So you go into the head and then you can see right now the hairstyle is girl one. I can change it to boy or I can change it to none. And you can set like the different eyebrow size. You can set mustache, or you can set a beard. It's a little nice goatee. Or when you're ready to actually render it out, you can then up the smoothing. For the actual hand control, it's also found this neat little controller here. Here there's a controller for the arm. Works like it's supposed to. And if you go into the hand control, this moves with the arm so you don't actually move it with it. You can see it just follows the hand. You click the different controller and you can see it has different poses already stored so you can lock it and relax it. Scrunch up. It just does different things. And then the same thing with the fingers. If you want to do it, you got like a controller for each finger. So let's say I want to take the index finger and then burn that a little bit. And all what by the way what I'm doing is I'm just clicking the actual name for it and then just middle mouse button and then clicking and then it just gives me this slider instead of having to enter a number. Let's see. For the actual head, the eyes, when you first get it and you move the, the head control, nothing really happens because the eyes is set to follow the head. So just click the controller and then you set it to world 
which sits it to wherever the eye controller is pointing. So let's see, eye controller there. And then you just move it around and then you get the eyes going around with it. It's just going to remove the joints because they're in the way. Same thing for the mouth. Some of the mouth has actual controllers in them and some of them are just do what they just move. As you can see this one doesn't have anything, any poses stored. It just moves so you can either move it the way you want or you can scale it up. But if you take this cheat control If you move it, it has limited movement and also it has poses control so you can use it to just do smaller animations. See the eyes. Same thing for the eyes. You can increase the scale. Pupil scale, that can be really scary. Just the upper lip or the lower lip. Link. So and all the other controls are basically just the same. Some of you can see this one is locked in translation, so that this only has rotation with it. So that's what you do with it. And let's see, is there anything more? The eyebrow control. Same thing. Has can move it up and down as you want using the parameters or you can move it by translating it. And the same thing as this. It's a limited translation just to make subtle expressions. Also, let's say if you want to take their arm you can put it on auto stretch which then allows you to do some kind of cool you know cartoony animations the second you turn it off it goes back to it so if you want to like have some I don't know Fantastic Four animation guy stretches out or having somebody who's I don't know running you can just do this, it just stretches it. Right, well it's a small introduction to the the rig and please comment on the guy if you find any errors with it, otherwise enjoy.